hostage incident. At the time of the alleged incident. Mind you, people. Are you my rap In hype bold. Man? In bold at the time. Are you my rapper hype uh-huh. man? <laughs> Repeat the last line. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Word. But his name was not included in the lawsuit. Yeah, yeah. Which was filed on Monday. Oh, okay. Monday in Eugene, Oregon. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Riley said in a statement released by Nebraska that he was made aware of the complaint Tuesday and previously did not know the incident. He declined in the statement to comment specifically on the matter. Maybe because it was the guy's cousin. Right. Not one of his players. He wasn't even the coach. Hey, coach, my cousin raped a bitch. Hey, former Oh, co- don't tell me that shit. No, no, no. Hey, former coach. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> my cousin <laughs> raped a bitch. I felt like I should call you instead of Dennis. <laughs> right. You know. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, he says, however, I'm committed to a harassment-free culture in our football program, and I am continually seeking ways to expand our student education program. Sexual assault is a horrendous crime and has no place in our society. The woman is seeking $7.5 million in damages. Hmm. And said she was raped after drinking at an off-campus party. She said she was taken to another apartment, unable to fight off her attackers, as she faded out of consciousness, uh, according to the lawsuit. And 98, wouldn't that be outside the state, the statutes of limitation? I think 10 years is... Yeah. Well, this or- I don't know. That's California. Hey, it's Oregon. has a different law. Maybe so. Like, too many women get raped. we got to leave that shit open. Right. Apparently, Oregon has a huge problem. Mm-hmm. Uh, the woman reported being raped. Too many woods around here. Yeah. yeah. Reported being raped to a sexual Oregonians assault count. Oregonians run around raping everybody all the time. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know. The Oregonians not reporting that shit. Nothing like being stoned and going and raping bitches. <laughs> yeah. 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 Drunk bitches at that. That's right. Drunk, passed out bitches. The woman reported being raped to a sexual assault counselor at the university but was dissuaded from contacting police. Well, well then that's the says. counselor's fault. Yeah, so the counselor. How is this the coach that wasn't theirs fault so far? Yeah, according apparently the the sexual assault counselor said a rape kit was worse than the assault itself, and that these things are hard to prove. The lawsuit states the counselor also allegedly told the woman she shouldn't have been drinking. The lawsuit. Yeah. Holy the shit. The lawsuit says the woman believes the beer she was given contained a drug. Oregon State refused or refuted the assertion assertions. That the woman has made, according to the Oregonian, were not responsible for her unfortunate sexual assault. Oregon State Vice President of University Relations Steve Clark told the newspaper, "The woman came forward after an Oregonian report last year on Brenda Tracy. Tracy said she was sexually assaulted in '98 by four men, including Calvin Carlisle and Jason Dandridge, who <laughs> played football for Riley at Oregon State." <clears throat> How Tracy, the fuck Tracy is she was being raped? raped so much? Well, Tracy was raped in the same apartment as the woman in the latest case. According to the lawsuit, I say take it's a Oregon. look in the mirror and say, "Why are we so rapeable?" Wow, I mean, it's Oregon. You know, you have that big O in the beginning of Oregon. Yeah. <laughs> big O, it's those booty shorts. Yeah, and, and, and the too. conversation went where Mike Riley's talking to this guy and said, "I've been raping the Chargers," and the guy goes, "Hey, that's funny. My cousin just raped a bitch." So. Yeah, <laughs> he's like, "Well, I'm not your coach anymore." <laughs> yeah, I don't so care. So, is the the new thing is I wasn't raping you? I was trying to force an orgasm on you. Is that the new defense? <laughs> Maybe so. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't get this whole, the dude's cousin raped a chick while he wasn't even coached, so we're going to sue. And to say that they created a an atmosphere where rape was okay, you have to have a lot of fucking evidence for that. Right. And him not being there is already bad evidence against you. Yeah, do you think, up, like, in the in the coach's office next to the locker room where they have all the inspirational posters, <laughs> it's like, your mind is like a parachute. Best used when open. Right. <laughs> Raping bitches in Oregon is the best. You always give them the big O. <laughs> give them the big O. <laughs> yeah. Tell them it's not a rape. We're forcing orgasms upon a women everywhere. Right. It's, uh, how can they prove that he was <laughs> The only thing I can think is the counselor is in trouble, and he says, oh, it's the rape culture around here that made me say this. I was... Told that I have to say this or I was going to lose my job. That's the only way that any of this can make sense whatsoever. Yeah, let, let's, counselor said he was forced into this position. Yeah, let's give her the benefit and say that this happened. That Which she may was have, and I don't want to say it didn't, because rape is something not to take lightly. It's a crime of uh, passion. Yeah. 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 Uh, so she shouldn't have been uh, dressed so hot. Yeah, exactly. So let's say this happened, and yeah, and let's say she did go to the counselor, and this is what the counselor said. The counselor should be in trouble, mm-hmm. and the school should be in trouble mm-hmm. for encouraging that sort of... Uh, uh, whatever, telling the counselor to say that. Why is the coach in trouble when right. he wasn't even there? Right. At this time, he wasn't there. Uh, and this wasn't a football player. It was a cousin of a football player. And it's not like he can be with his players at all time. Like, all right, kids, let's go to the mall. <laughs> and did this cousin say, hey, it's okay to do this because the football coach is allowing an atmosphere for me to do this? <laughs> like, well, I don't get it. Yeah, the cousin's like, hey, man, how's your, is your coach cool with rape? <laughs> this is, yeah, my cousin's coach is cool with rape, so I thought I would apply yeah. it to you. Yeah. I, remember, I'm just forcing an orgasm on you, so it's not really rape. What do you think his pickup line is like? Hey, hey, my cousin's on the Oregon football team. <laughs> want to force orgasm? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Seventeen years later, too, mind you. you want to, Seventeen. You want to unconsciously fuck? <laughs> right. 
I can, I can Bill Cosby. I got Quaaludes. Would that help? How dare you? Bill Cosby never fucked him. He always gave himself hand jobs <laughs> That's true. with That's bare true. hands. He's the only one that had a force or Yeah, and then like jizzed on their kneecap or something. <laughs> yeah, so. Very interesting situation. Her lawsuit seems a little dicey, even if this really did happen. Yeah, no. You're even, suing the wrong people. You mean they did fucking 17 fucking years later. Come mm-hmm. on. Yeah, it's a little ridiculous. And your defense is really weird. Just say the counselor allowed this to happen. He didn't let me take a rape kit, and I was too young to, to know better. And the counselor's right. You shouldn't have been drinking. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> How dare you, college student, be drinking and hanging out with some football player's cousin? You were asking Drinking, for it. looking all sexy. Yeah. You were asking for it. Your ass cheeks hanging out in that little mini skirt. Oh, come on. Yeah. Have you not heard about Oregon State? This stuff does not fly there unless you yeah. want to be forcibly orgasmed. Did you say this theft? Does not fly <laughs> this there? stuff is what I meant. Oh, okay. The beer might be talking for me. <sighs> Something is. Maybe a theft culture, too. Okay. We don't know. Yeah, it's, it's Oregon. They, they're too <laughs> stoned and lazy. I mean, he might have stole her virginity. So maybe. theft culture. Mm. Mm-hmm. Popping that chair. Oh, maybe he took her behind and mm, Ooh, Yeah. Bro, behind pop that behind and <laughs> That would be painful. Yeah. And rape kit wouldn't really work on that, would it? Uh, not, the like, bo- not in the behind be like, uh, You know, all anal kind of looks like this. So Yeah, messy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. A little Might sticky. get bloody. A little stinky. You know? Yeah, chocolate milk. Uh, moving from Oregon to Texas. You're right there. <laughs> uh, steers and queers. Yeah. <laughs> Texas high school, uh, a couple of Texas high school football players targeted a ref and blindsided him. Uh, during the middle of the game, I have the video I will post up on our Twitter at the charity strict. No E at the end. These guys fucking took him out. Yeah. Yeah. Like they, one guy nailed him from behind <laughs> and then, uh, <laughs> <laughs> he went down and then the other dude was, tackled him after he was already down. I don't know. Him, man. Right. Yeah. With his helmet and everything. I didn't know Joey Crawford was, uh, was doing football. No. Oh, okay. They weren't gay. Yeah. Yeah. It's Texas. You <laughs> can't be gay. They're Texas. not showmen, huh? No. Yeah. Joey Crawford. <laughs> Didn't know you coach football or right. ref football, yeah. Yeah, exactly. I wish Tim Duncan would do that. He's too much of a pussy. Yeah. <laughs> Tim Duncan's a pussy. I wish Tim Duncan's like, hey, Manu. Let's, uh, <laughs> Tim Duncan would rather do this. Let's take Joey out. Let's take Joey out. He's a doucher. <laughs> you know, no one can see it's you. Great for a pod, I know. <laughs> this, is, this is worse than my trying to do the shocker with no, no pointer, <laughs> no index finger. <laughs> Wow, slow show today. We're yeah, <laughs> this guy had already kicked two players out, so, so the team's all fucked up, and then these guys yeah. took the ref out. So. Oh, two people were kicked out before that? Yeah, two oh, players. Oh, he deserved it. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck that guy. Little high school football Joe yeah, Crawford. Yeah. Anyways, that's What's all. What's wrong you? with his ego? You're welcome, you guys. We're done. Yeah. Yeah. It's rough. Long day. Yeah. Long day on all that of That Oregon State story kind of took the cake, though. We kind of made up for a lot of things there. Did and we, though? Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, was, if, uh, if our intent was to night. offend everybody on the planet, we made great strides there. Yes. Uh, let us know if you're offended. Send us an email. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> send, send it to Gene and Mike. <laughs> At terrystrike.com. <laughs> yeah, that's that's right. It's Gene, it's Gene and Mike? Yes, it yeah, is. It sure is. It's us. We're Gene and Mike. Gene and Mike Damn in the morning. Why couldn't you screw up my name? Gene and Michelle. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I thought he was calling you Gene. Gene and Dyke? I, I hope he doesn't call me Mike. <laughs> <laughs> I'd take Gene any day. <sighs> Anyways, let's... Uh, <sighs> you think on a holiday I might be refreshed. I had a long weekend. Yeah. yeah. Where were you? You're out of town. I was wakeboarding. Oh, okay. That'll do Friday, it. I woke up at 5.30. Ooh. Saturday, Sunday, I woke up at 6.30. Ooh. Got pretty hot yeah. yesterday, too, so... Him or the weather? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Indeed. And then uh, Midlife and I got drunk last night. <laughs> we sure did. Yeah. One of us more than the other. Uh, I can't remember which one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That'll tell you who it was. Was there an Oregon, Oregon State situation that happened last night? Uh, I, I don't hope not. I don't, <laughs> We're I not hope talking you. about it? I hope there wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> so you must have been the really Shannon's drunk Shannon's got huh? some explaining to do. <laughs> <laughs> she was the only one there. Uh, yes. No, it, uh, it, was, uh, it was good times. We yelled at people. Anyways. Oh. We did? Well, you did. I did? Oh, I got to hear the story off the air. You hear it on the air. Okay. Should we tell it? It wasn't that bad. It was, okay. it was just funny. You Towards the end, we were at an establishment of eating. We had some beer. And, and drinkeries. And dr- a lot of drinkeries. Apparently. And towards the end, and it, it was meant as a joke. You but, shouldn't be drinking. But you know when you're drunk and you jokingly say things and sometimes like it keeps going? Yeah. So on the, the show. The chick was cleaning Many the times. windows. Yeah, the chick was cleaning the windows. <laughs> and we'd already eaten. Midlife goes, hey. Where's my dinner? Where's my dinner, bitch? And oh, I, my God. I did? I don't remember that. And, and so that wasn't that bad. That actually was not the bad That part. wasn't that bad. She, I don't think she heard, because that wasn't that loud yet. Oh, okay. And so he goes, 
Where's my dinner? And so I was like, uh, okay, now it's getting a little too far. Now she's going to get creeped out. And so he goes, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> oh, my God. And then she looks up finally. <laughs> oh, no. And you can see the terror on her face. I can never go back there. Oh. She closed the door. Oh, like there was, there was a door open to the patio where she closed it. I was like, oh, she's thoroughly creeped out. Oh, my God. That's why I said it was time to go before they called the cops. It was funny. Don't say your dad doesn't embarrass you anymore. Oh, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. And I do not remember that. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, midlife. Wow. You must be was, really drunk. We were cracking up. Well, well Jesus. I've been quite thirsty that day. Yeah, he before was dehydrated. We yeah. Yeah, he <laughs> quite thirsty. Yeah. Well, they do say drink anything instead of nothing at all. Yeah. So. As uh, as Marcellus always says, you had to get hydrated. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Had to hydrate. Had to hydrate. And remember put that it's gum hot day. in the bottom of your bottle. Put the what? Gum in the bottom oh, of the bottle. Oh god, that's disgusting. <laughs> that is so gross. But he does it. Anyways, all right, that's enough of this. You guys are well. That was the best part of the show. Is midlife drunk <laughs> story. Sadly. Uh, anyways, you Probably can get a lot us- of those. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's been a while since I've seen it. Drunk show. Uh, all right. You can get us at thecherrystrike.com, Facebook.com slash Cherry Strike. At the Cherry Strike on Twitter. No E at the end. We're on Instagram. I don't know what that little noise I made was. 805 419 Number to call sex or text. And a uh, new show from I Want to Know coming up this week with uh, September 11th conspiracy theorist. Just in time for September 11th, so uh, check it out. It's going to be good. Perfect timing, almost like you meant to do this. (laughs) Almost like I planned it. (laughs) So on that note, good night, everybody. Later, bitches. Where's my dinner? Broccoli! Mmm, girl. I'd like to force an orgasm on you and take that behind me tonight. Where's my dinner?